hi guys and welcome back to our channel um in today's vlog it's going to be quite an exciting one because we're off to london for a few days um both boys are so excited um like literally it's like a little holiday for us um uh, we didn't we haven't been anywhere um for the last 18 months no. so <laughs> So they're both excited um, we're just finishing off the last little bit of packing which is our lunch because we're going to have lunch on the train because um, by the time we get up to London it is literally going to be about midday anyway <coughs> so yeah I did most of the packing the last couple of days um, I'm literally one of these I'll pack and then re unpack repack and unpack and I'll constantly do that so yeah we're now literally just i think just like waiting now for the taxi um i'm not actually physically going into about four past nine and it's coming up for eight now i've, I've been up since about half five six with the kids because they, they were excited bless them um we're also going to go and see my sister as well so that should be good because she lives up there so that would be nice. Um, I think today we are going to the Natural History Museum and Science Museum. Um, I've booked the tickets for these like about a month or so ago when we knew we were going. So that's because I thought if I don't do it now, I didn't do it then, I won't be able to get the tickets. And thankfully I did because now it's all booked out. Literally a lot of places, even though they're free, all of them are literally booked out because of whole situation there was one thing i wanted to go and do i think it was at the science museum um it's like a little sensory room thing for daniel i couldn't do that because i could not even like back then i just couldn't get any slots for that so that's what that is one tip if you're going to go to london book well in advance your activities because it it is so shocker gonna be booked out really so yeah i know darling um so yeah i thought i'd take you along for the ride about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't To see the world in action, what we can be Life with no distractions, we'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out Some dinner at Nando's. Um, I didn't really film because it was just it was a bit difficult. And also yesterday, um, we were all excited and happy to be up here. Um, and I think we were just caught up in a bit of the whirlwind. Um, I tried and filmed as much as I could yesterday. Because um, uh, obviously yesterday we went to the Natural History Museum. Um, which was all right, apart from it was, it was really busy and obviously having COVID at the minute, no one would social distancing whatsoever. Um, and unfortunately, because we went out, I think it must have been one of the most busiest times there. Um, Daniel just freaked out halfway around. Um, so we managed to put his special headphones on him. 
and play some music, which calmed him down a bit. But we decided to skip the science museum just because I didn't think it would have been fair on him, really. Um, so, yeah, um, we're staying in our primary room, which we've been to before. And honestly, the service here is so lovely. The really the people in reception are so nice. Um, one thing I have found actually since we've been up here is you can go up to any like policeman and they say look I'm lost can you just give me some directions and they give you that so much good advice and if they didn't know the directions they would then um, ask another policeman do they know so it was really nice um, we'd um, when so after we'd had been at Natural History Museum, we then, obviously, like I said, we didn't go to Science Museum. We then decided to um, head towards Leicester Square because the boys really, really wanted to go to Eminem World, which was just as busy as the Natural History Museum, maybe even busier because it's Eminem World and it's chocolate and sweets and what have you. Um, and then we decided. It was, near, it was near time to go and check in, so we thought we'll head back towards um, towards where we need to be. And we went round St James's Park, which we're going to go to this morning and go and see the guards. Um, because, and I'll insert in a sec, we, as we'd gone through the, this gravel bit and through the gate, there was um, two, like, the Queen's guards on horseback, um, which was very sweet. And I didn't see them at first, I just... I just assumed it was just going to be guards, but they were actually on horseback. And um, of course, the boys wanted to say hello, bless them. And it was really lovely. Um, and the horses were so gentle um, that we try not to like obviously interact with them too much because obviously they're the Queen's guards. So um, I'm sort of glad my other half captured that little special moment because that was really lovely. Um, but yeah, Harry. We want to go back and see hello again, so I'm not going to do that. We're going to have a look at St James Park. Um, today we're going to go and have a look at the Imperial War Museum this afternoon, and then later tonight we're going to meet up with my sister because she lives and works in London. So, oh, that's better. Um, so yeah, she lives and works up here, so I really want to go and see her, and I didn't want to come up here and not see her, so. Yeah, we're going to go and do that and um, have some dinner with her tonight and then tomorrow we're going to do, I think, a little bit of retail shopping and then we're going to go home. It just feels like it's going so quick already. Fine. Yeah. I think we're just going to chill out for a bit and then go and get some breakfast. I will recommend if you've got a child with autism to try and get out first thing because literally as you probably saw from the videos already um there's hardly anyone out and about this time in the morning so it's actually nice to be able to go and have a walk along the south bank without there being anyone about really 